Hello and welcome folks to the new video of Obsess Scientist. This video was requested by Yadvi Galaxy and I would like to thank him for the idea which is things to know about the noble gases. Noble gases are the group of elements which are helium, neon, argon, krypton, xenon, radon and the newest element in the family is eunoctium. All of them falls in the group 18 of the periodic table and also known as group 0 elements because all the elements are stable. The reason for being so stable is all the elements are having full valence electrons in the outermost shell. Helium has two valence electrons whereas the other noble gases each have eight valence electrons in the outermost shell which make them very stable. In fact, they are so stable that in the past chemists thought that they could not react with other elements which is why they are called the inert gases or the unreactive gases. However, we know today some of the noble gases can indeed react to form some compounds which is why today the group of element is called the noble gases instead. Noble gases has some very useful application in real life and also some interesting facts. Let us begin with the helium. Helium is the second most abundant element in the universe after hydrogen and was discovered in 1895 by Sir William Ramsey in London and independently by Peter Theodor Klebe and Niels Langlet in Sweden. The name helium is derived from the Greek word helios which is named after the sun god. Helium helps to keep the satellite instruments cool like liquid oxygen and hydrogen that powers the space vehicles and because of its low density helium is often used to fill the decorative balloons and airship which is lot more safer as compared to hydrogen. Being so light and yet chemically inert helium can be mixed with oxygen in order to make the breathing easier. This mixture is known as heliox which can help the newborn babies with breathing problems and helps the underwater divers to safely reach the depth of the ocean. Most people guess that we extract helium from the air but actually we dig it out of the ground. Argon which makes up to 0.94% on the earth atmosphere and it is the third most abundant atmospheric gas which was discovered in 1894 by physicist Lord Rayleigh and chemist Sir William Ramsey. In 1904, Rayleigh won the Nobel Prize for Physics and Ramsey won the Nobel Prize for Chemistry for discovering argon, neon, xenon and krypton. Argon, the name is derived from the Greek word agros, meaning idol, which is used in fluorescent tubes and low energy light bulbs. The most exotic use of argon is in the tires of luxury cars, which provides low noise from the tires at high speed. Neon which is the fifth most abundant element on the earth atmosphere and krypton and xenon are the rarest gas in the earth atmosphere all three of them were discovered by sir william ramsey and morris travers in 1898 and all the names of these elements came from the greek language the name neon came from the word neos meaning new krypton came from the word kryptos meaning hidden xenon came from the word xenox meaning stranger Liquid neon is an important cryogenic refrigerant. It has over 40 times more refrigerating capacity per unit volume than liquid helium and more than 3 times than the liquid hydrogen. And the largest use of neon is making neon signs. Whereas krypton is used as a filling gas for energy saving fluorescent lights, it is also used in some flashlights used for high speed photography. In April 2010 Xenon made a headline news as it was first used in the treatment of a baby born with no pulse and no breathing by cooling the baby and treating with xenon gas brain damage of the baby was avoided and also xenon is an efficient natural anesthetic it helps the doctor to maintain the patient blood pressure and the heart rate during operations into the space industry xenon is used as a propellant that helps to steer satellites Coming on to the radon which is the densest known gas and radioactive as well. Radon was discovered by Friedrich Ernst Drone in 1900 and the name is derived from radium and it was the first detected on the emission of radium during radioactive decay. Even though radon is radioactive it is believed that radon has significant role in evolution. This is because it is responsible for much of the earth's background radiation that can lead to genetic modifications. The radiation emission from radon is useful for cancer therapy. In some places, high concentration of radon can build up indoors, escaping from the ground or from the granite buildings. Prolonged radon exposure is believed to be the second most frequent cause of lung cancer after smoking. Lastly, coming to eunoctium, which is the new to the noble gas family and was detected in 2006. 
a highly radioactive metal of which only few atoms have ever been made at present it is only used in research all the noble gases are colorless and monoatomic meaning they exist as a single atom moving down to the group the number of electron shell increases by one shell hence the further down the group the bigger the atom the size of the atom also affects the boiling point the boiling point increases because of the intermolecular force between the larger atoms with more electrons and the smaller atom with fewer electrons elemental blocks are named for their characteristic orbital which is determined by their higher energy electrons the s block includes the first two groups of the periodic table the p block includes the last six element group of the periodic table excluding helium they are the non metal groups the d block includes the middle ones from the group 3 to 12 called transition metals of the elemental group the f block are the inner transition elements talking about the noble gases except helium which falls in the block s and all other like neon argon krypton xenon radon and unoxium falls in the p block that's all folks thank you for watching please like comment and do share this video